It is a beautiful day, and Anduin and I are on her back terrace, um, actually antiquing a new bench. This is our Spring Lake bench that's available at the Home Depot. It's really nice. It has really pretty shape on the back. I like polymer. it. it's polymer. It's not wood, and it will last longer outdoors yeah. than wood will. Anduin has developed the technique, and why don't you take us through the technique? Okay, so my philosophy behind antiquing is you want the layers, right? right. Because aged furniture has lived through layers of paint and layers of dirt. So I'm gonna take this great, this color's called molasses, so it's a beautiful dark brown. And now I'm gonna to have to go make molasses cookies, Anduin. Yum. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in all the nooks and crannies, and if you can take this damp natural sponge mm -hmm. and just sponge away where naturally it would have been cleaned away, and then you kind of age the whole thing, it makes it feel really natural. And I think it'll be it'll be really nice. Good. So you don't have to get you don't here. have to cover every single place. You just no. want to. Uh, the more even it is, the less natural yes. it's going to look. So you just okay. want a little bit. So already it's looking aged. Doesn't it look great? And okay. you can actually wipe it a little bit, so it kind of makes a wood grain with your latex gloves. Okay. And that's no, it? we oh. need more layers, oh, right? We thought. need more layers. Okay. So here is another good color. We've started with the bench, which is our medium color, and we've added the darker color for the antiquing. And then we're going to add the light as if it was oh, once painted that oh, color. Here, give me the top. I'll use that paint too. Okay, great. This is a really beautiful color. It's called honey nougat. So like this with a sponge? I'm gonna do a dry brush. So you kind of wipe most of the paint off your brush and then just drag it lightly. Oh, you're just doing that? And here I'm gonna, again, oh, so go. so maybe I put too much. But you know what? Well, you this know is what? all about it, removing. Yes. So when you remove it, and it actually looks like it has been painted and then naturally has been taken off by the years when it's actually being taken off by us. So once this dries a little bit, and it'll dry very quickly because it's the dry brush technique, I'm gonna let it dry a little. And then a little terry cloth rag, and you kind of remove it. And when the paint dries, and you remove it like this, see it kind of makes it feel like, you kind of get rid of that brushy feel. Yeah. And then I kind of see when I wipe it away, it really makes it look like it's antiqued. Oh, and you have one other thing to do right. to the bench. We're gonna... And this is a surprise. Anduin is painting just the legs and only half the legs with a beautiful green paint, which actually goes with a plate rack, an antique plate rack that's in the hallway of her house. And this is a, a beautiful, that's a beautiful color. What's, yes. What is the shade of? This is rhododendron leaf. Oh, rhododendron. And you're using a high gloss? It's a high gloss, exactly. And I'm using a foam roller because it has a nice smooth finish and it'll give your paint a smooth finish. Yeah, and it's so simple. Just tape off the amount of space that you want to paint. That'll give you that nice, sharp, clean line. And paint the legs, let them dry, pull off the tape, and you have a, an unusual and very beautiful finish uh, for your bench.